Hi everyone, welcome to Vishwa Blooms. So in this video, we will be looking at certs AIM3 Emerald Package Class 8 Maths Techno. So let's begin with the Emerald Package now. So in the previous video, I have given a homework, right? I have given multiple questions. But out of that, the fifth one I have not solved, right? In the Pearl Package matching, fifth one I have not solved. Most of you commented it was really good that I could see answers in the comment section which were right. Correct. Now let me do the procedure for it. It's actually very very simple. Now here all the orders are same. So the bases can be multiplied in any way. Right. So fourth root of 2 into 2 into 2. Now what is 2 into 2? 4. 4 to the 8. So fourth root of 8 is the answer. So it was quite simple. That's why I have not discussed in that video. Even though I told it, I'll discuss in the last, but I missed. So now I am revealing the answer for that, which is option D. Okay, now let's move on to today's video, which is all about Emerald Package. So we'll proceed. Now Emerald Package first question. If x is equal to 6th root of 5 and y is equal to 4th root of 10, then we have to find out which is greater than what like x is greater or y is greater or both are equal to each other or x is the x is twice of y now how do we solve this so actually what we are doing here we are giving a judgment whether x is greater or y is greater so for that what we are going to do i will be telling in a simple method so that it will be easy for all of us now 6 root of 5 6 root of 5 can be written as 5 to the power 1 by 6 whatever is the order can be written as the reciprocal to the power of the base right now for the fourth root of 10 it is going to be 10 to the power 1 by 4 am i correct yes so now just by using these we are going to give some judgments so let's begin the judgments fifth root of 1 by 6 comma 10th root of 1 by 4. Sorry, 10th power and 5th power. Now, first task is that we have to make the denominators the same. Fine. So, for that, what is the LCM? We have to see. 6 and 4 LCM, if you find out, it is going to be 12. Right. So, now I am just going to multiply that. 5 to the power 1 by 6 multiplied by 2 by 2. In order to make the, you know, the denominator 12 same thing here 10 to the power 1 by 4 multiplied by 3 by 3 so that it will be what 12 so when it is done now it will be 5 to the power 2 by 12 am i correct and next one would be 10 to the power 3 by 12 fine now what we are going to do just write it in this form the root form how we had the third form so for that what you are going to do the denominator would be the order and the numerator would be the power i hope that is clear i'll explain it now first part see the denominator is 12 so it is going to be the order and phi the base as it is and the numerator is going to be the power comma here also similarly 12th root of 10 q done now what I am going to do, I am going to sort, solve this out. Now 12th root of 25, 12th root of 1000. Now which is greater? Obviously 12th root of 1000 is greater. So which is greater? Y is greater. So X is lesser than Y. That is nothing but option C. Let's move on to the next question. Now, second question. If A is equal to root X and B is equal to fourth root of 20, such that A is greater than B, then the least value of X belonging to natural numbers is. So, this one looks very complicated, but it is very quite easy. So, first, root X can be written as X to the power 1 by 2. Now, that is greater than fourth root of 20 can be written as 20th root of 1 by 4 now as we all know x power 1 by 2 is greater 
now firstly what we'll do is we'll just you know make the denominators the same then the lcm of 2 and 4 is 4 right so 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 2 is nothing but 2 by 4 so the power for x would be now 2 by 4 as we have found out the lcm and we have made the denominators the same now this is what right now what we are going to do as we all know denominator will become the order and the numerator will become the power so fourth root of x square it is greater than fourth root of 20 now on both the sides you can see fourth root right so fourth root and fourth root will get cancelled then x square is greater than 20 so if x square has to be greater than 20 the next square number like now even consider the square numbers 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 and 5 square is 25 now that square this x square it has to be greater than 20 so which is the number 25 so x least value can be 5 because 5 square is 25 right it should be greater than 20 so x least value can be 5 which is none other than the option c so third question mth root of a multiplied by root 3 is equal to sixth root of 108 now this question we have to find the values of n and a and then we can find the sum of that so first nth root of a is equal to 6th root of 108 divided by root 3 as I am sending the root 3 from the LHS to RHS it becomes division I hope you all know this right now here when there is no num when there is no order then it is 2 right so up we have 6 and below we have 2 now how do we make them same when 2 is multiplied by 3 it gives us 6 so what we are going to do we are going to multiply 2 into 3 and here power also 3 power 3 you know this rule right i hope you didn't forget this now 6th root of 108 divided by 6th root of 3 cube now 6th root is common you can put for both of them right 6th root of 108 divided by what is 3 cube it is 27 so 9 ones 9 twos 9 threes 3 ones 3 fourths now 6 root of 4 is the answer right it is nothing but mth root of a it is like nth root of a 6 root 4 is so now n is 6 and a is 4 now n plus a what is it 6 plus 4 so 6 plus 4 is 10 so this question mark is nothing but 10 which is option b right now fourth one is actually the dead easy question okay now statement a says that cube root of 4 multiplied by cube root of 8 like here they are saying that the order is same right for these two radicals so when you are multiplying it is cube root of 32 obviously it is correct right so statement a is correct now statement b nth root of a multiplied by nth root of b is equal to nth root of a b where a and b are positive real numbers so now statement b also is correct only because it is just denoting this statement like this is the formula for which we have we have applied statement b formula for statement a right so both are correct and option is a Fifth, fifth to seventh questions are like passage type of questions. First, you read the passage, which is very, very simple. They have given the, uh, you know, laws of radicals for multiplication and division. Like how do we multiply and divide thirds? So just to read that, it is very simple. Now, fifth question we'll see. It is nothing but sixth root of two divided by root three multiplied by cube root of. Now, first, way, first and foremost thing is that we have to make the order same for numerator as well as the denominator. Now, here it is 2 and here it is 3. Right. Now, we have to make it 6. 
now this one will be 2 into 3 and 2 into 2 3 into 2 2 into 3 and here power is also 3 cube and 2 square now that all rules you all know because multiple times we have discussed all this right ok now I am going to do the same 6th root of 12 divided by 6th uh, root of 3 cube multiplied by 2 square right now 6th root of 12 divided by 3 cube is 9 and 2 square is 4 20, sorry 3 cube is 27 and 2 square is 4 27 multiplied by 4 is 108 now 6th root of 12 divided by 108 12 ones are 12 nines are which is nothing but 6th root of 1 by 9 that is nothing but 3rd root of 1 by 3 which is option D now here third root of 1 by 3 how you how it became you will think right so 1 square 1 cube is 1 and uh, 3 sorry 1 square is 1 and 3 square is 9 right so here we are doing by 2 and here we are making roots right so that's why it will become 1 by 3 understood I hope and the sixth question we will see now so actually sixth one is very very easy you can do it on your own so that's what pause the video and try to comment the answer because it is the same model like fifth question if you didn't understand fifth one then rewind and go watch fifth one once again then do the sixth one and try to comment the answer and yeah your time's up let me do the problem now now here first and foremost thing to know to be noted we have to make the order 12 right so 4 into 3 sorry 4 multiplied by 3 and 3 multiplied by 4 and the powers will be the same however we multiplied there right so for 12th root of 2 cube multiplied by 12th root of 3 power 4 am i correct so divided by 12th root of 27 now what is 2 cube 8 and 3 power 4 is 81 right so once i write that 12th root of 8 multiplied by 81 divided by 27 so 9 9 is 81 9 3 is 27 3 ones and 3 threes 8 threes is 24 so 12th root of 24 is the final answer for this question and its option c so seventh one is also very very simple one eighth root of 24 divided by eighth root of 8 pause the video and comment the answer so i'll be giving you hints also now if you don't want to pause so eighth root of 24 divided by eighth root of 8 right now 8 8th root this is the same right order is same so you can just directly divide it so this is the big hint now you can easily do this 8 ones and 8 threes 8th root of 3 is the final answer i hope you all got c, c as your answers okay now we'll look at the matrix matching type of questions now matching type of questions so first question is root 8 multiplied by root 2 very simple questions actually so i'm giving all this homeworks for you all the bits you just pause the video and answer this in the comment section right now let's see who comments first right so because they are very very simple questions you should be able to answer these for writing your exams right so it will be beneficial for you so please try to answer these questions uh, take two minutes time and then solve this because they are dead easy right so until then i will be giving the answers also now root 8 multiplied by root 2 we have done a lot of questions out of that this is very very simple one which has the same order so when it has same order you are going to multiply it directly right root 8 into root 2 can be written as root 8 multiplied by 2 under the whole root right so 8 2 says 16 what is root over 16 it is nothing but 4 what is the option 
so eighth one it is option b okay now let's look at the ninth one so eighth one is b ninth one cube root of 2 multiplied by cube root of 2 multiplied by cube root of 2 same kind of question because here also order is the same right cube root of 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 cube root of 8 cube root of 8 is nothing but 2 but we don't have option so cube root of 8 option is there so we are going to consider the option as d okay now we will look at the 10th question 10th one is also very very simple question so i'll solve it here now cube the root of 4 multiplied by cube the root of 8 divided by root 4 what is cube the root of 8 it is 2 what is root 4 it is also 2 and 2 2 will get cancelled so what is the left out thing cube the root of 4 that is the answer option is c okay so just mark that option c done now 10th one is done let's look at the 11th one 4th root of 2 divided by 8th root of 4 now this question is also a very very simple question first and foremost thing is that we are going to make the order the same right so 4 into 2 i am going to do in order to make the order 8 now 8th root of 2 square as it is multiplied here we are going to carry that to the power as well so divided by 8th root of 4 right now 2 square here sorry now 8th root of 4 by 4 4 by 4 is 1 and nothing the answer is nothing but 1 that's it okay it is very simple question so 1 where where do you find the option 1 it is in option a so with this we have completed our am3 successfully am3 of certs is done and in the next video we will be discussing am4 that is a rationalization right thanks for watching our video do like share and subscribe to vishwa blooms and click the bell icon please support us and bye bye